So it's time to replace the spark plugs on our Subaru. So since we're here, let's check the compression. So this is a 2010 Subaru Impreza. Once again, 171,000 miles. And on the driver's side, right behind the battery, you find a fuse and relay box. Just a couple of clips, and there we go. Now on the underside, you will find all of the fuses and relays spelled out. And what you're looking for, if you see right here on the right hand side, there is a fuse for the fuel pump. So the fuse is located right here and we have a puller and we can simply remove our fuse. And now we're going to start the vehicle. It may sputter a little bit and then completely die out. <laughs> So now we need to get clear access to the spark plugs. Now I did a spark plug replacement video on this Subaru some time ago. And in that video, I take my time. I show you the right extensions to use, essentially how you can do everything at home. Today, we're going to go a little bit quicker, but if you need a more detailed guide, I will include a link for that video in the description box below. So let's start on the passenger side. So that's cylinders one and three, and then we'll jump over to two and four. And then we have access to cylinders number and the wires here, the ignition wires are relatively new but good time to replace them since you're here. And now we just have a spark plug removal socket, small extension, 3H drive ratchet, and as always, I'll have all of the tools listed below. Okay, number one, and here is number three. And you can immediately see, look at number three, you see the end of the electrode? Number one, it's completely missing, so very good time to replace these. And regarding how often to replace spark plugs on the Subaru, it's every 30,000 miles. These have done almost 50, something I certainly overlooked. For number two and four, we just need to remove the battery. Yo. So number two, yo. and then number four is right behind it. Also a very good time to inspect if you have an automatic transmission. These coolant lines often rust out. So this is a replacement line I did some time ago, which I will include a playlist for the Subaru. Showing on how to do a bunch of stuff. Okay, so number two. Okay, and number four. So here's our compression tester. I will link one that runs for $20 in the description box below. This one is a little bit more money because of the adapters. But if you plan on doing this once or twice, you know, you don't need anything crazy. Just make sure that the adapter, you don't want anything too long because the piston is going to be moving and you don't want to strike anything, okay? So this is right on the money. And then you simply thread the adapter precisely where the spark plugs live. On the opposite end, just pull up the coupling until it snaps into place. So I have the battery reinstalled and a 20 pound dumbbell sitting on top of the accelerator. You want the throttle fully open and now we're going to crank the vehicle. And as the vehicle cranks, this needle is going to move. A good reading is between 150 to 185 PSI. Now cylinder two is 185 PSI right on the money. Incredibly healthy. And number four is 180 PSI. That is excellent. You want no more than a seven PSI difference between the cylinders. Let's jump over to one and three. Okay, number one. <laughs> That's right on the money. It looks like 190 PSI. Excellent. Yeah. 
<laughs> Number three, finally, we're at 190. Incredibly healthy. So that is really great to see. All of the cylinders are right on the money. It's a very, very healthy engine. Now, if you do this on your Subaru or any vehicle and the pressure is low, you can add just a little bit of engine oil into the spark plug opening and try the compression test again. If the pressure increases, that's indicative of bad or worn piston rings. If nothing changes, but you still have a low pressure, then most likely it's something within the valve. So you can get a pretty decent idea of what's going on just doing a compression test. And I think it's also worth noting, I have owned this vehicle for almost 10 years, placed over 100,000 miles, always maintained the vehicle over that time. So it's really, really important to take care of your vehicle. It lasts a long time and you save a bundle of money in the process. So at this point, I'm just going to install the spark plugs, wrap it up for the day. And as always, thank you for watching.